guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we are going to do a Scentsy Party closeout haul. Now, when I say Scentsy Party, no, I did not have a party with people showcasing Scentsy. All I did was open a personal shopping link. And once that party hits at least $200, so sales of $200, you start earning free and half price rewards. So I closed that out. And I had a lot of extra rewards here because in January, you actually get double rewards. So I think I had six half-off items. One was a six-pack for a friend that I already took out and gave to her. I have a couple things in here that I use for half-offs that I am giving to other friends. And then the rest is for myself. So anyway, anybody can have a shopping link too. So don't let the term party scare you. If you shop Scentsy quite a bit, you can hit $200 within any time period. So it doesn't have to be a week link. I can literally open a shopping link for you for six months. So if you want to start shopping now and then close out your party, say in December and cash all those rewards and half price items in for Christmas presents, you can totally do that. I have a customer who does that. So there's lots of different ways to do it. So don't let the term party scare you. But anyway, I have everything laid out here. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, just because I had some rewards to use up, I got a coconut lemongrass car bar. I feel like I don't get the best performance from Kent Sensi's like car products. I do want to try the fan diffuser in my car like Brett and Brad talk about in their videos, but I knew coconut lemongrass was a strong scent. And with us going into warmer months, I figured I would pick one of these up to try in my car. Does anybody else, side note, get their car detailed like after the winter time and it feels like a reset? I always get my car detailed in the spring and deep clean, like I pay for the whole package inside and outside, and it looks like a brand new car. And I feel like it just extends the life of your car too, because it just really resets everything. And then I let that new car smell, whatever they put in it, last for like a week, and then I add my new fragrance. And it's almost like a reset button. So I do that. But anyway, that's a side note. I also ordered the Valentine's Day collection. It's three fragrances that are still available for $17 on the Scentsy website, but you cannot order these individually. You have to order them in a bundle. I wanted to try all of them anyway, but I didn't want to obviously add them to my club. You could add them to your club, but I just closed out a party with them and used a half off. So we'll go over the fragrances. This is my first time smelling them too. I know I'm late to the party, but we have I Pick You, and I have my iPad here with the notes. It reads, I Pick You, Red, currant, and honeysuckle nectar dance beneath stars of white amber. Let's see. Ooh, okay. I like this. I definitely get the honeysuckle and the red currant. Well, obviously, those are like the two notes mainly in here. It does lean like floral body care, but I don't hate it. I'm not mad about that. This is nice. If you like... Those like rich berry type of fragrances. I feel like you could really like this one. Yeah, I don't feel like it's club worthy or anything, but it's nice. So I got I Pick You here. Next is Perfectly Cute, which I'm very excited to smell. And I hope I love this because you'll see other products in it in the video. Perfectly Cute. Golden Pear gets a glow up with the help of whipped vanilla and a spritz of apricot blossom. Sounds incredible. I love pear fragrances. Scentsy's Perfect, Perfect Day. It's like a really crisp, fresh pear. I can already smell this. And I happen to love it. It lasts for days in my warmers. I know not everybody loves the fragrance. I personally really do like it. But this Perfectly Cute, I read a lot of things and watched a lot of videos. Where, oh, where everybody says this smells really great and like a very springtime pear fragrance because most of the time pear fragrances lean a little bit more fall. So I'm excited to try it. This is good. This reminds me of a Jolly Rancher fragrance. Like a pear candy. Totally. Yeah, like a pear candy. It's really good though. Like it's really zesty. It's definitely giving spring. Ooh, 
Ooh, if this performs well, I could see adding this to my club. I really like this. I like the zestiness. I like the freshness. You definitely get that pear, but yeah, it's definitely like a springtime pear. So really excited for that one. And then the last one, I love it mainly because of the name, Simply the Zest, Q Tina Turner. Notes of sandalwood and lush greens uplift bright floral, tropical notes, not floral, bright tropical notes. So we had, what was it called last year, last Valentine's Day? Or is that Easter? Something Zest. And it was not that great. It was very light. Oh, this is definitely different. This is a very bright. Oh, okay. At first sniff, this reminds me of Blue Grotto, which is a dupe for the Capri Blue Volcano fragrance. Like that sugared citrus. Oh. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so nice. I actually need to change out the warmers in my bedroom. And I'm tempted to put this in. Oh, this is so nice, you guys. If you like, like, bright citrus fragrances, you have to try this. And it's almost like a citrus zest of, like, a cutie. Like, you know those little cutie fruits? That's what this reminds me of. Like, a very, very tart, juicy citrus zest. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I really like this. Oh, I love. This is great. This is great, this is great, this is great. Oh, okay, I love. <sighs> Quick rating, mm, I pick you least. It's definitely not a favorite. Um, oh, I'm actually gonna say Perfectly Cute is number two and Simply the Zest is the best. I love this, Simply the Zest is the best. Oh yeah, I really like this. This is so good, ooh. I have a rule with these, like, three collection scents. I can't add more than one to my club, you guys. Club gets too big, so I have to decide. Well, I know this one probably won't, but one of these two. So I'm going to melt these this week, and probably by my next empties video, we will see which one is the winner, which one goes in club. Because I could see if these perform, one of these could go in my club, potentially. So there's those. But... I wanted to talk about Perfectly Cute because I have two of the Scentsy Fragrance Flower bouquets, which I cannot believe, I can't believe, that these are still in stock. They are $35 instead of like $18 for the normal fragrance flower. Well, $16, but going to $18 in the new catalog, there is a price increase. But I can see because it is pricey, but everybody that I have seen talk about these are life-changing. Like, people say these are incredible. They throw great fragrance. They are really great. I'm not gonna set it up for you now because I'm not ready to use it yet, but I will show you what it looks like in the box. One is for me and one is for a friend. So you open it up like this and you have your little instruction booklet here, your silver decorative cap, and then your bottle of juice. Now, it's going to be hard to see on camera, but it is a very dark pink. It kind of looks like a bottle of black oil. It's not, I promise you. And don't think that it's leaking because it's not completely filled to the top. Because once the flowers go in, the oil level is going to rise. And then it will obviously evaporate the oil. But yes, so this guy is almost twice the size of a normal fragrance flower because... It's set up like a bouquet. Um, let me show you. So the fragrance flowers do come in separate boxes now. And, oh, well, these, this is a lot. So they're actually in three different boxes, the flowers. I'll open one, but like I said, I'm not setting it up yet. And it looks like this. So these are the flowers. So essentially these are like a much more decorative version of a reed diffuser. Ooh, let me pull up a picture actually on the Scentsy website of what it looks like. Um, let me show you, because I already have the Valentine's Day collection pulled up. It shouldn't be too hard. Here we go. So the perfectly cute Buttercup Bell fragrance flower, and the Buttercup Bell is the name of the flowers themselves. So it's like the design of the flowers. Let me see. Okay. 
So this is what it looks like all set up, super pretty. And then once the flowers absorb the oil, it looks like this on your table. How freaking cute is that? So it starts like that, then it starts to get filled with oil, and then eventually it is completely saturated in the oil. And as the oil goes down, this is like a lifestyle picture. <gasps> oh, I love that. Isn't that so cute? Mm. It says, blooming with color and fragrance, this is one bouquet that won't wither. Our elegant fragrance flower releases beautiful scent while looking lovely and a spritz of, oh, looking lovely in any space. Just set it out and enjoy. No plug, no problem. So I really love that. All right. So those were the fragrance flowers and other things. Now let's dive into what I picked up wax-wise. Now I'm going to do a quick little run through on these because I'm already at 10 minutes and it's not a huge haul. There's a lot of wax, but there's not a lot of variety. This is all for, except one from the Bring Back My Bar. So we'll start one that is not Bring Back My Bar and it is King Cake. I got four King Cake bars. This is from the Mardi Gras collection. I haven't even warmed this yet, but I added it to my club and I stocked up on the bars of it because I love the way it smells. Oh, I love this. This is like a, this is like almond croissants, older, sophisticated sister. This is great. If you like rich, buttery, gourmet, like delicious, rich bakery dough fragrances, you've got to try this. I think this one in particular will do super well with some age on it. When I melted older crumb top bars, I noticed a drastic difference compared to fresh pours of crumb top. So these king cakes are going to sit for a while and I think they will be great. I love like a rich, delicious bakery. Now the rest of these unfortunately aren't available anymore, but I'm still showing them because it's my haul and you never know if they'll come back in clearance or if you have them in your club. I have four peony petals. A lot of people were giving this one some slack I don't know why. I love it. It's so pretty. It's a bright, juicy peony with fruit. Ah, oh, it is so pretty. And you know, the more I smell this, the more I must have smelled this years ago. Because it smells so familiar to me. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Just a bright, crisp floral with a little bit of fruitiness in there. Now this one, I'm kind of disappointed, but I ordered four because I feel like it'll be a good mixer and I feel like over time I will enjoy it more. Toasted apple butter. Now this is no apple butter frosting, you guys. This is no apple butter frosting. Like on first sniff, you can kind of get it, but it's an emphasis on the cinnamon and like the butter note, but there's no apple. And also this clamshell, can you see this? Oh, well, hold on. This clamshell is like so thin. Like, it's crazy. This clamshell is like, I feel like the oils are going to totally destroy this clam. Um, oh, but I love the way that it smells. But I melted one in my bedroom, which you saw in my empties video. It just was not like anything special. Like, it just smelled like spice in the warmer. It smelled like I just had a spice fragrance. I didn't get any apple. So I have these bars because in the fall, I'm going to mix this with an apple fragrance, maybe like Johnny Appleseed, one cube to one cube in a warmer to see if the apple will intensify and hopefully make it more rich bakery, if that makes any sense. Next, I picked up four of, listen, I loved this one. Everything Nice. I loved Everything Nice. This is in my club. Oh, this is like that sticky, rich pumpkin fragrance. This is that raw pumpkin gut. Yeah, you see how these clams are like, like super hard? Like they're not going to break. I don't know. Those other ones are totally flimsy. I love this. I can see where people think it smells like rotted pumpkin, but to me, it's beautiful. I love that rich, ooey, gooey pumpkin bakery that this is. Oh, so good. This is in my club. I'm going to save these for the fall. All right, so those are the only ones that I got four of. The rest of these I just got two of. Frosted ginger cookie. 
I can't get into this. Um, I know you're like, well, why do you have them? Because I'm thinking maybe over time I might be in the mood for a scent like this. I like it. Like, on cold sniff, I like it. It does smell like a bakery ginger cookie. But ever since somebody said it smelled like cereal, like Fruit Loops, which is sort of like a lemon cereal scent, that's all I smell. Same when I warm it. So I like how it smells, but it doesn't smell like a frosted ginger cookie to me anymore. It smells like Fruit Loops. And it just, it just boggles my mind how it changed so much, just from perspective. Next, cranberry mango. I love cranberry mango. This is so great. This is juicy. This is bright. I think this is an any time of the year scent. I know cranberry more leans fall, but with that juicy mango and the pineapple in here, it's zesty. It's bright. It's strong. I remember the scent from years ago, and I love it. Next, we have vanilla walnut. Um, This one I grew to enjoy. It's not one that I need heaps and heaps of because it is just like a very creamy vanilla. And I feel like over time in the warmers, that just intensified. I don't really get any like nutty fragrance. I just get like a warm vanilla. I do really, really enjoy this scent, but I think that new very vanilla that's coming out in the new catalog, I will enjoy just as much. Now this one I did add into my, wait, caramel sugar cone or toasted caramel sugar? I'll smell it and I'll remember. Okay, this is caramel sugar cone. I know I added one of the caramel bars to my club. Not this one. It was definitely toasted caramel sugar I added to my club. Man, then why did I? I don't know why I ordered more of this. This is nice. You definitely, I think this has malt in the notes and you definitely get that malt fragrance. Like that really rich, ooey, gooey caramel. I feel like Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom would not like this scent. I can't remember if she does or not because she's not a huge fan of caramel scents. And it's that ooey gooey caramel. Real buttery, but there's no like sea salt note. You know what I mean? There's no sea salt note to mellow out all that caramel. So that's where it can turn a little bit. Next, amaretto. I did add amaretto to my club. I don't know how long it'll stay there. I hear it doesn't last a long time in the warmers, but I do really like the way it smells on cold. It is just like a roasted almond fragrance. Like that almond liqueur, it's really good and very strong in the clam. Next, I did not add this to my club. I placed this order, then I melted this, and I was like, no. Whipped vanilla pear. So I have two of these. It's not bad, but I, I, it's just not a pear that I love. I like Perfectly Cute more, and I like Perfect Day more. The pear mixed with all this bakery is throwing it off for me. Like, I would almost rather have, like, a pear crisp scent with, like, a cinnamon sugar oatmeal type of scent than just ooey gooey sticky. It's almost like this is, like, a pear flambe scent where it's, like, the vanilla ice cream and the caramel and, like, the glaze type of scent. So it's not a favorite, but I will melt it. This I never melted yet, but I added it to my club just because I think I will enjoy it when I melt it in the bedroom. Lavender vanilla. So I ordered two of these. I like lavender vanilla. A lot of people are hating on it because of that patchouli note. I don't really smell patchouli. This smells very similar to Bath and Body Works' lavender vanilla. That real, real creamy, creamy vanilla. And that herbal leaning fresh lavender. It's good. I like it. So I got two of those. This is one I did not add to my club, but I ordered a couple bars. You already know what it is based on the color. Twilight. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel. That's why I got a couple more. I think, I think I said this in my video. It smells like the Renaissance Festival. It smells just like the Renaissance Festival. I went one year and they were doing these wrought iron roses. And then they gave you a bottle of rose oil to pour in it to make it scent, smell like a rose, like for your yard. And this is like the scent of that oil in those roses at the Renaissance Festival. It's so crazy. Cause like the second I smelled it, I'm like, that's it. So I don't know how, I don't know if that's a good memory or a bad memory yet. So we shall see. 
Next, I got two B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I got two bananas. I really like this. I didn't think I would because it's just like a Laffy Taffy banana. But it's really good and I think it'll be good mixed with things. Like, I think I might mix this with that crazy coconuts because I don't love coconut fragrances to cream it up a little bit. And then I got two strawberry sweeties. It's not my favorite strawberry fragrance from Scentsy. I much prefer coastal strawberry and sugared strawberry. This almost comes across as way more artificial than those ones are. But I enjoy it and I think actually... I think this strawberry sweetie and this bananas will be great together. Like a strawberry banana. Oh yeah, I could totally see myself doing this. It's like a fun, if I don't drop the clam first, I think this would be like a fun summer fruity combination. Oh yeah, maybe I'm onto something with this one. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Did you guys pick up any Bring Back My Bars? Add any to your club? Let a boy know down below. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you stay up to date every time I upload a video here on YouTube. My Scentsy shopping link will be down below if you wanted to pick some things up. That fragrance flower vase is super cute. I actually think I might display it in my office here whenever I'm ready. But definitely check it out. Hit that subscribe button. That way you're up to date. I already said that. Make it a better world and be kind, guys. Love you. Bye.